Howdy folks, good morning. It's Monday and we are starting with something new. One of the most reliable power stations I've had in here has been this All Powers R1500 right here. We've been using it and it works great. So it's been a good machine, but from what All Powers just told me the other week and it's here, they have a B1000, which is a battery expansion kit for this guy and this is new. So we're gonna be looking at something really new. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be interesting and cool. The focus today is really on the B1000, the expansion, or, and obviously this is going to maybe what, double the storage, maybe more. And that's part of what I wanna find out because this has been a really good, reliable source of power for me for about a year. So yeah, it's it's been a good machine. And I use it uh, just about weekly for subsidizing some of the power in the house where you know I can use something like this instead of drawing you know off the uh, grid. In fact, the uh, power that I'm using runs about, 300 and three, about 380 watts roughly. And only needs to run for a few, you know, for an hour here, hour there. So I've been using this because that way, you know, I'm just not using grid power. And I can recharge this off solar. Which, in fact, this is plugged in right now to a uh, TX60 uh, uh, plug. I don't know if it's on. Yeah, it's on. Now, black clouds rolled up immediately as soon as I put this setup together with the portables outside on the driveway. It's like, sure enough, yep. Yeah, um, I've got 800 watts worth of panels out there and I can barely bring anything in because it's, uh, it's a little dark out there. Now, when the sun comes back out or whenever the sun shines, we'll get back into that. Uh, we'll charge this up fully, but we're also gonna be charging this up fully and also I'm gonna be looking at what is the total storage now because when you add something like this, you've added an incredible amount of storage. Obviously, you're gonna extend all of this out. This is kind of important, you know, whether it be a hurricane storm or just a power loss for whatever reason, uh, blizzard, <laughs> cold snaps, whatever happens. And also, if you're going camping or boating or anything like that, and you decide you're gonna have a lot of power with you, something like this can be really incredible. But having storage on top of one of these units is like, yeah, now it's just that much more useful this is just a battery, almost just a battery, but this now offers, basically it doubles the storage of what this unit had. We now have, instead of having uh, a rating of about, I think it's around, uh, right around 1200 watt hour. In other words, like a 100 amp hour battery for you know a solar system. This is about 1200. It's actually uh, 1,157, I think it is, watt hours. So it's a little under that. And this one here has the same rating, the 1,157 watt hours. So basically now you have almost 2,400 watt hours in total, or like 200 amp hour you know, battery system if you wanna call it that. But you now double the capacity of the time on this. And that can be very important, uh, as I have found out with uh, having a hurricane here in July. <laughs> Yeah. And again, just last week, we had the power go off here, so we we're on this again. It's like, oh. Well, we're slowly getting filled back up. We're reaching 99% on this one. Oh, this one here is coming up. It's, uh, where are we at? 82, 80, 83%. So it's this one here is trickle charging very slowly, but it's coming up. It's charging. Now, it doesn't show any input or output, but it is coming up because what's happening is this one is filling up. So once this one gets uh, full, I guess we'll get this one full. Now, the next thing I wanna do after that will be to test. Will we plug something heavy in here and just drain them? Yeah. <laughs> and just drain them down and see how they do. When you first set these up, it's in the manual. You have to have both of these machines off. Plug, put your little power cable on, and then boot this one up first then boot this one up. And then I added uh, solar power to the system to charge. I think we did it right. God, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. But you should do it in that order. Otherwise, uh, you know, you might cause some damage or something. I don't know. The other thing I did notice was this one does have a 110 charger on it. So you could plug the 110 in here and bring it down here to maybe speed up the process. That's kind of a weird, that's kind of strange. Yeah. Because really the two batteries are sort of tied together, but the inverter up here would charge this battery just that much faster, I would think. And uh, the solar coming in. So I'm not really sure how we can balance this thing out just yet. So we got some tests ahead of us. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens when we drain and see what see who goes down to what. Yeah. 
Real quick too, uh, this has, both of them have Bluetooth features, so you can put this on your phone to uh, monitor and see what's going on with these uh, power stations with all power. So that's a, you know, that's a good thing. Now, right now they're tied in, they're interlinked, and they're, well, they should be at 100, they're not quite, this one's at, dropped to 99 already, but uh, I'm going to plug a big load in here, both charged up, uh, we're going to plug something in and just keep it going, so I apologize for the sound, because this, this drill is going to be running. But I'm going to keep the drill running so I can get a measurement here and see how long this would be able to run something that's pulling that much power. Now the actual, I think this is uh, between 350 and 500 watts, so we're going to find out. I'm not really sure what it draws, but let's have a look and just see what we got uh, going. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see what. Happens. Wow, okay, interesting. Uh, what was happening was it was kind of borrowing the load back and forth a little bit, huh? back up to 100%. Uh, this showed about three hours, this showed six hours. This was pulling about 250 watts, and the other 150 watts was being pulled from up here. So they're kind of sharing the load, which will uh, overall will extend the time of whatever load it is. Because obviously this should kill this in about two hours of just steady running and it showed over three plus hours in total and really six hours up here so yeah it was it was uh, it was borrowing from one to the other so it's it's how they're tied together it's you know you obviously have two batteries here it does get a little weird and confusing when you have two batteries or more than two you actually can put I believe it is three of these all together up here so you can build a full like a five kilowatt system virtually but you can do it in steps, like you could buy this first and then later down the road when you have some money, you know, get the battery. And then down the road a little further, get another battery. You know, I keep adding to the system and building it up to, you know, up to apparently at least five kilowatt or maybe more, I don't know. With three of these plus this, whew, that's a lot of power. But yeah, that's close to about five, almost five kilowatt. So yeah. Pretty cool, All Powers. And All Powers has got, uh, they're pretty good prices. So that's that's one thing I will say about it. Now, the surge on this is rated for 3,000 watts. The uh, outlet here is rated at 1,800 watts. Uh, and this was a, I guess you could say, probably an early model. I'm really not sure. Because when I have load tested this, it doesn't seem to be able to handle, you know, 1,500 watts, it seems to get kind of questionable as to whether it's going to handle it or not. And if it's a motor circuit, it's like, it's not going to handle it. It's going to kick. It's going to pull 45 for a few, you know, few seconds before it gets up and running. And again, something like this is not going to necessarily handle it, and it will kick out, which this did when I did the test. Uh, you weren't here. You missed the event. Yeah. <laughs> but I plugged the table saw in. <laughs> The table saw easily will pull more uh, than, you know, up a way up over 1800 watts easily. In fact, it'll surge way up and it'll last for a few seconds because it takes that motor a long time to get off the start winding and get over to the run winding on the motor, which this was like, no, I'm not going, I'm not going to work with you on that. So it did kick it out. But uh, anything else in the way of power systems where you need power for any length of time or stuff, this just absolutely doubles what you have here. Uh, the way it does the separation is the math is done between here and here, so you really have to look at both numbers to try to figure it out. Now, if you have your uh, Bluetooth cell phone, you can look at these and yes, you can you know really take a good look at the chart and everything and see what's going on. But uh, price-wise, these are very competitive in the market. That's one of the things I do like about the all-power system. And also, they supply power. Uh, they supply solar panels, you know, and solar panels, you know, that's another item, yeah. I don't know if you can hear the noise in the background, but that's actually another panel charging from an all-power solar panel set portable that I have outside right now. In fact, that's what we were using on this earlier. Uh, the other item, and I'm still experiment, you know, we're in the experiment stage here, but uh, I'm wondering, you should be able to say, leave this at the job site, wherever you're working maybe, if you're doing something, and just take this with you, go recharge it, bring it back, and then you tie this back in and you should be able to link back up and run power again. 
sometimes it's nice to have that feature be able to pull the one off and go get it charged bring it back well this one continues the job as such as you know what I just said if somebody's working and they're using this power but the power is getting low you say you know what I'll just run this over to wherever recharge it bring it back or put it on you know put it on charging system this is where uh, different ones I haven't seen this and, and so the industry needs to I don't know the industry might need to take another look at that but right now this one here if you took this off to go charge it you're gonna have to use a plug or an outlet which you know again that's fine because it's gonna charge up quickly so you can get back to whatever was going on with this one you know if you want to get back and bring the you know bring the power back so if you were plugging it into solar it would it would be like oh it's gonna take all day you know <laughs> so it's it's really you know it's really this is the way to go unfortunately yeah on the grid I guess or uh, if you like I mean you have a, a solar system out in the barn that has 110 you could plug it into that and charge this beast up and then bring it back to here and put it back to work it was a bug with a turquoise uh, color wow okay whatever uh, so tied in together it just extends the power just that much more which is which is great but like I said there is some this sort of feature does offer some weird flexibility to things that you know outside you know we have to think outside the box sometimes but yeah, there is some other features here that uh, would allow you to do things because you have this extra power that you can tie in with this one. Uh, one thing I am concerned about was when I brought solar in, I could see it charging on here. This ran up to 100%. This one climbed slowly, but it never indicated power coming in, and I'm not sure what I was missing there. It could be that it, well, for whatever reason, it doesn't read it coming up from here. I don't know, but it it uh, it did charge up. It slowly came up and it was like okay I, I guess we're charging from the solar that's in this unit but I'm not sure real not really not too clear on that one uh, I'm have to talk to all powers a little bit more about that situation here between these two but uh, once you get them two tied in like I have here with the link cable this link cable by the way is included with your B1000 uh, battery yeah. also before I forget I'm gonna put links in the description below where you can find this but also I'll put a link in there where you can find this guy and I'll also see if I can put a link in for where the All Powers website is it's easy enough to find I think it's allpowers.com <laughs> yeah, real hard to find yeah. Boy, change of shirt here. Yeah, it's uh, it's the next day and everything is, uh, we're pretty much at 100%. I've got the solar power plugged in right now to the bottom unit. Uh, the next thing I wanted to mention too was, of course, and you can see it, uh, the two units look identical, but they're really not the same. This one does not have, of course, solar charging capability on the battery, the extended battery here. And also you have, you've got your DC ports for your USB and your USB-C. You do not have any outlets here, which is really the biggest difference you're going to see. Oh, and you also have, of course, the famous 12-volt cigarette lighter plug, which, again, is very handy for a lot of folks. Now, one of the reasons I said you'd probably put this on top is because your phone charger on this one, uh, they have the wireless phone charger built in on top. So if you do this, uh, yeah, you can't use it. So other than that, it's no big deal. I guess you could do it either way. I just felt that this uh, it was just easier to set it up like this with your all powers whether you buy this one or you're added the battery again it comes with a, uh, a warranty card specific to where you can register into all powers to the warranty so that you have coverage which is good you know uh, I'm not a big warranty guy I just I'm just not but uh, the uh, warranty on all powers is as good as anybody else's in the industry by looks of it for the time being uh, and again, I haven't tested or I don't know anything about the waters uh, of, you know, problems with warranties, but uh, they seem to have a, they seem to be pretty, you know, proud of themselves with warranty. So uh, good, you know, I, I don't have any reason to send these in for warranty. I don't have any problems, you know, and that's the way I like it. <laughs> now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to plug into the uh, USB-C here, uh, a load, and I just want to see where this load is measured at the battery or where it's going to be measured here at the main, I guess we'll call this the command center, huh? Yeah, <laughs> cool name. Yeah. And I've got a light here, so it draws a little bit of power. And I just want to see, get an idea as to how that affects the uh, USB and also affects the battery. So we're going to plug in and uh, turn that on and just see what happens. In fact, this is on 
I said USB-C, I think I may have screwed up. Yeah, this is not a USB-C, this is a USB. All right, yeah, good enough. We'll plug into the USB and we'll see if this is, okay, we'll turn the, we'll turn the DC package on and I'll start my light. Yep, right there. And it's showing, okay, output. So it's showing output here. Let's see what's happening down here. Anything? No, it's not showing any. Okay, it's not showing anything changing or anything happening here, but it's now showing the, the light I've got on here is pulling nine watts. This is a, a little staging light I use for products sometimes, but it just plugs into USB. Very handy sometimes around the shop, even for small jobs you're working on, you can pull a little light like that. A couple, I've got two of these, and you can pull them over if you're working on something small, like on a 3D printer. <laughs> yeah, very handy for that sort of thing. Okay, nine watts, and it's outputting. Now, right now it's measuring uh it would take uh at least three days to run this thing down <laughs> that's a lot yeah and this one here is also showing um that there's something going on on this three days but it doesn't know where that you know where that's coming from so now i'm going to turn the dc on down here then we're going to move the light down to there and just see again like i said what the difference would be so i'm going to come down here and plug in here okay so now we have the light down here and I'm going to turn the light on again we're up to well this is actually showing 10 watts draw whoop nine nine watt uh, 10 it's right on the edge it's, it's it is about a 10 watt bloat or whatever and it's showing it'll run it for three days now what's happening up here is it's jumped it is now showing that it will run for 14 days so again you have a weird kind of math split between the this the command center with its battery Plus you have this extension battery. Actually, I'll shut this uh, DC power off up here too. And see if we can get, yep, all right, it's off. And let's see if the numbers change at all. Uh, still showing three days down here, showing 14 days up here. So between the two, you have, uh, you know, it's obviously you have a lot of more time. Uh, if you had 200 watts on this per se, it should last, in theory, if you do the math, it would be it would be between five, uh, five and a half hours, almost six. Just we'll just say six hours. It's not real, but say six hours at about 200 watt load. And what happens when you add this in? Now you have you know 12 hours. Okay, nine watts. DC is on. The other thing that I tripped on here is when I do this, I turn the Bluetooth on. So I gotta you know I gotta watch the load as to what's going on. Uh, Okay, this also turns this on by the looks of it. Yeah, there's no button over here, so this turns all the DC out. The only thing missing different is you don't have the solar input on the battery system here, and also you don't have these outlets, of course. You have four of these outlets down here, and if you needed more outlets, let's face a power bar or something you could plug in, and then you'd have all the outlets you want. They have these nice little rubber uh, flaps, so it's kind of... I guess we'll say, uh, I guess they call that weather resistant, and this will be the same thing. It's gonna be like weather resistant. I don't recommend leaving this out in the rain or something. So they can be, yeah, actually look at this. This is really interesting. I've got the 100 and, about 140 watts coming in outside. It's, it's very early morning and the shade is still on the panels quite a bit. I've got, like I said, 800 watts of panels out there, but with all the shadow and everything, I'm lucky to get 137 watts apparently right there. And up here, this has now pushed itself up to 100%. So this is now topping off so that once they get topped off, they'll both be reaching 100% level. Now, there's something else I want to talk about with these two cables that's going to be very confusing. And I'm not sure where to put this. Uh, in the manual, it actually shows, and I checked between videos from uh, all powers, and I also checked the manual here and I really didn't get a good feel for where these uh, plugs should be used. And it shows you've got port one battery and up here you have port one battery. You also have port two battery down here and port two up here. So the way they show it in the book is you go from port one to port one or from port two to port two. The actual diagram in the manual actually shows them using it from port two to port two on these two units. And I don't know if that's right or not because the manual does not really get into any detail. It's a, it's a fairly light, uh, not a whole lot of pages in here because really, let's face it, it is a power station. It is kind of simplistic in, in nature uh, because 
there's only so much you can do with it. Uh, you know, how much, you know, there's only, it's a, it's a power station. You know, it, to me, it's a very simple, you know, procedure. Now, there's one other thing in here that uh, pow all powers does do, and it shows a little bit of the diagrams of what you're going to be seeing on your cell phone. Oh, by the way, cell phone. Android and or uh, iOS. So, yeah, either type phone, you know, will use the app for the all power station. Better mention that, right? Yeah. Always a good thing to know too. Uh, the issue I have is when these two do the math, it does get a little confusing, but it's really the whole bottom line is you've just doubled whatever you know storage you have, you've doubled your storage. So you can double the math on it and say, okay, instead of lasting five hours, now something will last 10 hours or something like that. The thing that uh, I also like about these particular stations is uh, this one here. Uh, you can bring the solar power in and you can also be using it. And also, if there's any extra solar power coming in, it will help to continue to charge or keep this charged. So that's an important factor because some power stations out there, you cannot do both at the same time. You'll burn stuff up. Yeah, you know, it's like, and, they, and the manufacturers don't really want to, you know, come forward and say, oh, by the way, uh, <clears throat> you can't be running the solar in and running you know the 110 out at the same time it's uh it'll overload the unit like what you know and really for me uh one of the things i like to be able to do is use the solar power at the same time as when i'm drawing something and that way i can extend through my day you know and i can run something for a lot longer time if i need to and that's kind of where these power stations in general you sort of have to keep an eye at the manufacturer and watch them to see what they can or cannot do and i've noticed the pricing seems to follow the, that same track if you've got one that can't not run solar and run the tent 110 at the same time you can bet it'll be a cheaper price and it's suddenly like yeah you know the old saying you get what you pay for uh ah -huh. yeah, uh, yeah that's that's the hook right uh, other than that, uh, I'll just take a quick look at the specifications. The other thing that uh, that's not on here is there is a uh, breaker, a circuit breaker up here, so in case she's protected from overload. Uh, in case anybody uh, has a question too, this is lithium ion, of course, and so is this lithium ion. They're, the battery system seems to be identical units with the same amount of capacity. So again, just related to the fact that they double the storage. Okay, we're going to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I'm going to see if I can... I'll ask for them for a coupon code or something for a deal if I can find it. And check back in the future if you can, because sometimes they, you know, might be 24 hours, 40 hours, even sometimes days later, they might send you, you know, send me over something that I can post on YouTube for a discount coupon or something for viewers that are interest interested. So... I'm going to get out of here. Thank you very much for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. The All Powers, the R1500 and the B1000. Cool. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs>